Hi there, I'm Peppy from Save You a Spot, the education blog for teachers, parents and pupils. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I think teachers can look after their own well-being. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe below and if you like this video, hit that like button. Now let's head over to the video. Teacher well-being is a big thing at the moment and I know many schools have programs already in place to look after their teachers well-being. But let's say your school doesn't have such a program in place for you. What can you as a teacher do? Here are five suggestions that any teacher can easily take on board to take care of their own well-being. One. Prioritise yourself. That may sound selfish to some, but it's not. You have to be healthy and happy to be able to teach other people. Do what you have to do to be the best you can be and then teach. Two, do what relaxes you. Make sure you do something that relaxes you, if not every day, most days of the week. Everyone relaxes in different ways. Exercising, reading, watching TV, whatever it may be, leave some time in your day for that. The more relaxed you are, the better you will be able to handle pressure when it comes to the crunch. Three, physical and mental well-being. These two usually come hand in hand and going back to the ancient Greek saying, nousi yis and somatisi yi, which means that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body. This shows you that you must take care of your body to be able to have a healthy mind and a good mindset. So eat well and exercise and look after yourself so that you can look after your students. Four, rest over the weekend. It's so important to rest when the weekend comes and so easy just to carry on working because of this and because of that. There's always a reason to work. Don't feel guilty for putting things on hold. Remember, Saturdays and Sundays are for resting and that's exactly what you should be doing. Five, be organized. To avoid stressful situations as much as possible, be organized and have a clear plan. This will help you tackle your workload and be more efficient. Teachers, you must prioritize you. Your well-being as a teacher will contribute to your health and productivity. How do you look after your well-being? Leave a comment below and let me know. It's not easy. I'll be the first to own up to having difficulty with this. Do you find it as hard as I do? Look after yourself. Till next time. Bye.